I honestly don't even know how to start this video. I've been sitting here for a couple of minutes trying to figure out what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna jump right in. I get it. I'm an attorney. This is what I do. This is what I teach. But it, oh, y'all, my blood pressure is through the roof, okay? So there is a marketing coach out there who sells captions and images and templates and coaching and all this sort of stuff. They took audio from a really popular song that's going on right now. Absolutely love the song. And they made it their own by making their own audio on Instagram. And it has now had 13,000 uses on Instagram, okay? I kindly reached out to someone who used it yesterday. I said, hey, you know, you can't do that. It's not authorized unless this, that coach has permission, which probably not, right? You're infringing copyright. I was told, oh, what a fun fact. And I was like, honey, it's not a fun fact when you get sued for copyright infringement. This, you guys have to make sure two things. All right, if it doesn't matter if you're a personal brand, whatever. If your page, if your platform, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, wherever it is you're using audio, you have to make sure, and I just did a whole uh, series on this. You have to make sure that either one, is listed as commercial usage in the, in, in the platform, or two, you have permission. Like this audio of mine that I'm uploading now, you guys could use because I've already agreed to the Instagram terms of it. But if it included music that's not mine, you couldn't use it, you could be liable for up to $150,000 and attorney's fees. Don't do it. Stop this. Learn the law. Ah!